Hello nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista. She is I and I am her and over here we do mainly things fragrances and today that's just what we're going to do. Fragrance. So if you're interested in hearing all about what I have to say and what I've discovered about the brand Clean Reserve, please stay tuned. <music> Let's start off with the housekeeping. You know, it's a request, not a demand. If you are part of the nation, if you would go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you are new over here or if this is your second or third time and you like what you see, yeah, I think it would be a wise thing to go ahead and just subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Also, share the video. I thank you so much. All of that helps with the um, analytics of my content and it is greatly appreciated. So today, I'm really excited about this because I was excited when I found it in store. I wouldn't necessarily say that it was something that was on my radar, but when I saw it, I'm very familiar with it, just seeing it over social media and um, different people talk about the brand, but never overly intrigued to try the brand. But when I saw this, I thought to myself, I'm like, I think this would be a really good deal. And it would be like my invitation into really seeing what the brand is about. All right. So the brand that we are going to sample today, and this will be my initial thoughts on this because I have not opened this. This will be my initial thoughts on this, but it is clean reserve. So the reason why I was overly excited about it because I was in TJ Maxx purchasing washcloths. Who is anyone like me? I purchase washcloths like I purchase paper towels. That is so weird to me. But I always get a nice six pack at TJ Maxx for like six or seven dollars. And I always go to fragrance just to look. And um, I found this in TJ Maxx for $24.99. So I went ahead and picked it up. I didn't even search the web to see if it was a really good deal until once I got home. So once I got home, I did discover that they have this actual, um, I don't know what they call it. We're going to just say that, because it's more than a sample, we're going to just say that they have this mini discovery like kit. And they still have this on their website and it retails for $48, which I think is a fairly decent price because you get six fragrances and they are 1.7 full fluid ounces. So I made a decision in the store really quickly that I was going to be purchasing this. Um, I didn't, you know, go through my phone and do any research then. I just felt in my mind, you know, for what you're getting, that's a fairly decent price. So once I got home, I started doing a little research just to try to figure out, you know, a little bit more about the brand. But let's just get right into the actual product. So this is a discovery set and it has six of their fragrances. And I will put a picture of the full bottle and I will share the fragrance notes with you as well. So as I'm glancing down, I am looking at fragrance notes. So um, this actual product, um, I was reading it and even on the box, it's, um, I don't know if this is year round, but it says in honor of Earth Day, we are proud to support earthday.org to help protect the plants and its beautiful butterflies. So I thought that that was really nice. So as you can see, they do have this on their website for $48. So to get this for almost half the price was a really good deal in my opinion. So it has six fragrances and we're gonna just start with the first one. And the first we're gonna start with Lush Fleur. Lush Fleur has fragrance notes, top notes, bergamot, mandarin, raspberry, middle notes, gardenia, jasmine, Damas roses and the base notes are vanilla, musk, amber, and musk. So all of these fragrances are clean fragrances. So I think most of them are like skin scents, but they are, you know, kind of popular in the fragrance world. And I definitely think that fragrances like this have its place because I've done a whole video on clean girl type of fragrances. So if you have not checked out that video, please click the card above. But 
This right here, of course, very clean. Mmm. It does have like a floral perfumey vibe to it, but you definitely get that undertone of the musk. Really nice. It opens up bright and sparkly like a bergamot does. I definitely get those florals in the middle, the um, gardenia and the jasmine. And the gardenia is not a turnoff. I'm not a big fan of gardenia. I can tolerate it if it's not the most dominant note in the fragrance. So this is just right. I don't really pick up any vanilla, but I definitely pick up that musk note and I pick up the moss. Those notes are really standing out. So this is nice. This is nice. So if you're looking for something that's more floral than it is sweet, this is definitely a nice light floral skin fragrance scent. So again, that was Lush Fleur. All right, the next one is Skin. Skin has fragrance notes. The top notes are bergamot, orange blossom, honeysuckle, the middle notes, warm skin accord, vanilla orchid, sun-kissed peony. The base notes are salted pralines, fresh musk, white cedarwood. And I'm going to tell y'all what came to mind when I read that note. <laughs> so let's just sample this. And these are all first impressions. I did not open it and sample it when I got it. This is good. This is really nice. And what I thought what came to my mind when I read that praline note, I'm like, this will be something really nice to mix with the um, pistachio because, you know, there, you know, some people are complaining that it's just not strong enough and the lasting power is very limited. So if you really like the fragrance and you really want to give it some mm, some longevity and just kind of, you know, support it some. I do think that this would be a good one because I do pick up that praline note and you get the musky note in it. I'm already predicting that all of these will have that real musky undertone because musk is a very popular Musk and Ambroxan, those um, synthetic fragrance notes, those are very popular with fresh skin forward fragrances. But this is nice. I like this. It does open sparkly. The bergamot, it stands its ground every time in most fragrances. I am picking up more of a creamy vanilla note in here. And that's probably within combination of the vanilla as well as the pralines. And of course, the musky undertone is there. So this does give me like a sweeter vibe. This is more on the gourmand side of things, but musk is very prevalent. So again, this is skin. Mm, I think I might want to get me a full size bottle of this one. Skin. Okay, the next one is Aqua Neroli. And Aqua Neroli has fragrance notes of top notes, bergamot, mandarin, orange Sicilian, middle notes, jasmine, neroli, orange blossom, the base notes, aqua musk, amber, and amberette. And amberette is a form of musk. It's an ambroxan type of um, fragrance notes. Hmm, I like this. The Neroli, which I expected, it is definitely standing out. But Neroli and that orange blossom or that mandarin, those just go well together. They really do. This is more of a perfumey type of fragrance. This one here, it I, I get the musk in it, you know, no doubt. But it is just as perfumey, I think, as it is is musky and you're definitely getting that sparkling orange note you know you get the bergamot you're getting that orange note and those neroli's they are very strong in this fragrance so this one is more of like a perfumey fragrance to me um i would assume that all of these are for spring summer their skin scent so they are spring summer fr fragrances 
But this one right here, this is more of a floral one. This is more floral than the first one. Mm, this is nice. I like this one too. Real clean. It lives up to its name so far. Very clean, very airy type of fragrances. I wonder who the perfumer is with these fragrances. Okay, so the next one is Radiant Nectar. Radiant Nectar. Radiant Nectar has fragrance notes of Amberette Seed, Pear Nectar, Iris Butter, Carrot Seed, Tobacco Flower. The base notes are White Cedar, Ambroxan, and Liquid Musk. Okay, I need to clear the palette. So, let's see what... I hate when itemizers have air in them and you have to do all that pumping. This radiant nectar smells like. It's a pear scent. Pear. It's good. I like it. You know, pear is one of my favorite fruity scents. I... Now, what have I gotten myself into? And I have sampled a couple here and there in Sephora, but just never really honed in on it. But this is good. This is definitely a skin scent. It's very, very light on this card here. Which you could get a total opposite effect um, on your skin. But if you are a carrot type, not carrot, but if you are a um, pear type of person that you like pear, this is definitely a pear scent. And I do pick up that iris note in it. And of course, I'm getting the musky notes, the ambroxan and the liquid musk. This is nice. This is pear. Pear. Pear, 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 pear. And it's good. Mmm. I like this one too. All right. So the next one, and I don't know which is popular, which one is a popular one. Like I said, I... Don't know much about Clean Reserve fragrance. I've seen them around, but I don't know which one has more popularity or if any of them have more popularity, popularity than the other. But this is Rain. And Rain has top notes of bergamot, chilled cucumber, water lily, the middle notes, dewy white flowers, um, muggets, the base notes, patchouli, Rainforest vetiver and clean musk. Now, this one is just okay. It's not bad, but it just smells a little bit too outdoorsy for me. It smells like fresh dewy rain not like pouring down rain but just misty rain and you can pick up the greenery that's around the outside this would definitely be a um more mail forwarding in my opinion i don't know if this is a unisex house or not but i could definitely see a gentleman wearing this very subtle i do cover in here and I get hints of the vetiver, but it's a very like outdoorsy, um, green, watery type of fragrance. Yeah, that one is just okay. Not my preference. Just okay. Not bad, but not for me. All right, and the last one, the one that I was most excited about because I like anything cotton. It just gives me that clean, fresh um laundry detergent type of feel anytime i see or think that um the cotton note whatever a cotton note is it's in a fragrance but um the top notes are aldehydes ginger water accords the middle notes are mint green pepper floral accords and the base notes are musk incense and vetiver this sounds like a really nice 
combination of fragrance notes. And it is good. Clean, laundry detergent, fabric softener vibe. This is good. I like. This is definitely one of those fragrances that I don't even wear fragrance to bed. Well, I have started recently wearing something to bed that you buy glossy year. I am really vibing with this. But this is one of those fragrances that I feel comfortable with wearing to bed because it's just, it, it's clean. It's just clean. Not soapy, but like I said, it smells more like fabric softener or some type of laundry detergent. And it's nice. Very nice. I'm trying to pick up on that mint, but I'm not picking that up. That could be in the dry down of it. I don't even pick up the vetiver. All I pick up is that fabric softener smell that I'm getting. Really nice. It's clean. Like it, like it, like it. Hmm. That's nice. And these are very affordable, you guys. Their largest size, which is a 3.4 full ounce, 100 mil, it retails for um, $110. So to be able to get the largest size that they carry or they provide for um, a little over $100, that's super affordable. So I am still very excited about this purchase. I cannot wait to start wearing some of these to see how they go well with skin. And do not be surprised if you see one or many of these show up in my collection before the summer end. But I would definitely say that all six of these that I just shared with you, they are definitely spring, summer forward fragrance. So if you're one of those people who don't like heavy overbearing fragrances, but you still want to make a statement, there is something in this um, discovery set that I think you would definitely like or vibe with. Actually, it's called a travel spray layering collection. So I'm assuming that their fragrances are, you know, they promote that you can layer these and, you know, play around with them, you know, which we do that anyway, whether they recommend it or not. But these are really nice. They are really nice. Definitely nice. I definitely know that I want the warm cotton and the one that was skin. Skin was the one I think that had that um, praline note in it. So these are good, really good. So I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. If you um, have some of the clean reserve fragrances or if you're interested in purchasing some or if you've experienced them in the store testing or you know someone who wears them, please leave a comment below. Let's chit chat about it in um, the comment section. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And do not forget... You, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.